Uh, today I'll be showing you how to install a cyber panel on uh, Ubuntu VPS that is a VPS that is using Ubuntu OS so to start us off I'll show you where I usually purchase everything regarding my hosting services I usually purchase uh, from Truehost Cloud purchase a VPS from Truehost you'd go to pricing and click on um, cloud server so there are different options when you can be able to well you can see from your end we have vps1 vps2 vps3 and vps4 then there is cloud pub uh, cloud pub 2 so depending on your needs you'd select the one that you wish i'll be taking you for example vps1 because that's what i purchased so you'd click on order and then there are different options so uh, we have an example on uh, the options that we have the plans you see the longer you purchase the uh, higher the chances i mean the higher the discount like 24 months you see you have 624 shillings per month which is quite fair so on the host name there are usually two options you can always se select on server dot your domain name like say uh, for my case um, or rather you can always write um, the short form SRV dot the domain name then um, on the prefix these are name server prefixes you uh, should always select NS1 and NS2 the options that you're given then also select the um, the type of OS that you need for our case it is Ubuntu 20 that's all for the purchase of a vps and then you click uh, continue i want to believe that that uh, has simplified your ordering from truehost cloud so let's go back to installing cyber panel on our vps this is the vps i purchased it is vps1 uh, so i had already started running the uh, it i mean just keeping it running as i show the other side so how do we install cyber panel on this vps i've already logged in i'm using um my the panel to log into the vps as smarty not panel per se rather the ssh tool i'm using smarty if you're on windows i would always um uh suggest to use smarty although i see people also use putty whatever suits you to keep the vps running because uh, ideally it usually when you um, are doing other things and probably uh, you need to run something you can always run the command top which will keep your vps running as you wait uh, or as you check on the commands that you need to run so for our case we'll be running the installation command which i have taken from uh, i will be able to share a guide so here is the command and it's already running so uh, after running the first command just allow me to show the command this is the command then uh, this is it will be able to take you through the questions that you're supposed to i mean to answer for the installation to go through so uh, i'll just take a second chance on it so uh, install cyber panel sure option one yeah we'll use the open light speed but if you have a light speed enterprise uh, light, uh, key you can select option two yes full installation so we'll select why sure you uh, want you to always have a remote ms uh, mysql so you will select no and remember it's capital n yes the latest version on this i'll select um use random password you can always reset so default d small d yeah sure so these are the various questions you'll be asked before it's it installs here remember to type capital y then the rest as small letters yes 
so the installation has started it will take uh, quite some bit of some time before it it is over but those are the uh, that's how you uh, run the command and answer the few questions then installation starts right away Probably you might be asking what are some of the advantages as the installation continues what are some of the advantages of using a VPS um, over shared hosting uh, the power around VPS is one that I would love to share especially when it comes to emails if you're a company that solely depends on emails I'll recommend a VPS because you get to have your own dedicated IP so you are not limited by the behaviors of uh, other people on shared hosting uh, with the, the dedicated IP you're assured of email deliverability as long as you have the SPF and DMARC and DKIM running well or uh, you have configured them you should be able to send your emails with ease another advantage about vps now that it is not shared resources this is a virtual private server you if you're running probably an um say a website an app your website will be able to load real quick and handle a bit more of traffic rather than shared hosting to add on it uh, to add on that i mean um there are usually um some some of the providers uh, for uh, shared hosting usually have limit functions on the shared hosting uh, majorly revolving around uh, if you're the php mailer the mail function having to be disabled these are things you can avoid once you get a vps so really if you're looking into doing uh, great things or trying doing tryouts with um, how to make your site run real fast or improve the capabilities of your website avoid the downtimes you know then vps vps is the way to go yes you should just consider vps why not yeah so usually it takes a bit of some time we'll keep on waiting at uh, the end of this i'll be able to share a guide on how to install this on ubuntu i hope it will it, it, it will help you on your journey to using vps so let's give it some time once it's done uh, we should be able to log in into a vps and see the functionality of the i mean sorry we should be able to log into the cyber panel and see the functionality of our cyber panel on ubuntu Creeping up from the heathens, got will, got fight, got pride, got reason. If they wanna go eat, then you know I'm gonna feed them. If you're coming for me, hope you're ready for a demon. I got eyes in the back of my head, I'm seeing. Take me for granted, and you know I'm leaving. I'ma take what's mine with the webs I'm weaving. I could take this crap from seeing to believing. Got a taste for blood, and my tongue keeps bleeding from the words I spit. So sharp, so freezing, so cold. Behold, frost. Despite they feeling, I could tear you apart or I could go heal them Don't believe in faith, don't believe in ceilings I just need a taste and my mind starts feeling I don't pace myself, I grind on no kneeling Got lust for change, I just love the feeling uh. I ain't gonna give up Got too little time, I'ma live up Head down, push forward through the tough times Cause anything worth doing is a tough climb So the, as the installation is still going on, what's that one thing about um, VPS that you'd wish a uh, tech colleague could always share your view on the uh, video down below, the comment section I mean, or you can share. Uh, what are some of the things, the tackles or the challenges you've been able to experience when um, with a cyber panel that you'd want to know? Also be sure to check out other 
uh, videos which have been done already on inst uh, installing WordPress on a cyber panel, installing a VPA, I mean, sorry, cyber panel on CentOS OS. Yeah, we do have these videos here. Or how to, now the installation is over. And this is the last, would you love to restart the server now? Sure, yeah, that's the best option. So in the meantime, I'd love us to connect to a cyber panel to really show that uh, we have in installed our cyber panel. So let's log into our VPS. Uh, usually the port number is 8094 cyber panel. So the username is usually admin. Then I haven't changed the password, but once always change the password, be sure not to use the default password. And there you go. You've already installed a cyber panel on Ubuntu VPS. You can make your changes if you wish to add a website if you used to, to wish wordpress uh, sorry if you wish to use wordpress that's it installing cyber panel on ubuntu vps let me know your feedback on the comment section below